Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Hook up or hang up. It is Cosmo here and the Y107 Morning Show. Chilling in the Y studio on the level of hotline. I've got Ken on the phone from the Lake area, I believe. Ken, good morning, man. How are you? Welcome. Hey, good morning. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. So let's just go right into things here this morning. What what happened? What's the deal with, with Colleen? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, shocked. I mean, you know, we met online. We hit it off. Uh, we went out last weekend. Had a great time. Went to, you know, really nice dinner. And, uh, but I, I want to see her again really bad, but... Uh, she, she isn't returning any of my messages or calls or, Nothing. you know, Facebook or Instagram or, I mean, any media whatsoever, you know? <laughs> right. Okay. So sounds like you've reached out a few times, you know, uh, and you said you tried to call too, but nothing? She didn't return? Yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not stalking, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to make sure, like, if you're doing one of each, like, all of a sudden you've hit her on everything, that's 10 messages. Uh <laughs> No, no, I was, I was basically joking. I, but, okay, yeah, I, I got you. I was going to say, well, that yeah, might be I'm, part I'm of it. The, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not the type to, to keep pursuing cool. her, you know, if, yeah, if so, she's not interested. But So, obviously, you, you got to think for this girl. You want to at least see what's up and try and go out again. So, like, what happened on the date? You said you guys went to dinner. So, can you think of anything that happened that's yeah, making well, her yeah. ghost you? Yeah, that, that's the thing. I'm just dying to know what it was, and I've been – you know, racking my brain and trying to think like, what, what did, what did I do? Uh, what did I say? What did I not do? Uh, but the nearest I can tell, or the, the only thing I can think of is I had pasta with pesto in it. And I was trying to keep, you know, that green stuff out from between my teeth. <laughs> I mean, first of all, if, if that's if that's where your mind has gone, Ken, that she is dissing you and ghosting you because you might have had food in your teeth, that is, then you don't want to date this girl anyway. Like that's the most shallow, ridiculous reason for, for someone to ghost you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, you know, I hate to say it, but girls would turn you down for like the the slightest ri- yeah. ridiculous reason. You and you never know. Touche, uh, touche. <laughs> I mean, it'd be different if you were oh, in well, there. He, he had. He had two different socks on. You know, I don't ever want to see him again. You know? Yeah, it would be. It also be different if you're in there with your fork, like digging them out. You know, trying to get you using your phone for a mirror. Oh, no, and, you no, know, digging no, the no. pesto out of your teeth or something. That might. That might be no, a little I'm a more gentleman. Of a, I'm a gentleman. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I believe you and all that. So, man, why is she ghosting you? You have no clue. Let's call her and uh, just kind of roll and see what's up. We'll get Thank her you. take on things and and decide based on what her response is what's up okay yeah i'm I'm super nervous but at the same time you know i i have to know (laughs) all right we got to play this song quick and uh it's no turning back now man here we go okay thank you did your date never call back have us call them hook up or hang up with cosmo in the y107 morning show Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show's Hook Up or Hang Up. It's Cosmo. This is the Y107 Morning Show. Uh, Hook Up or Hang Up time. Just talked to Ken a little bit ago. He went out on a dinner date here a little bit ago with uh, Colleen. But now nothing. He can't figure anything out. She's completely ghosted him, not responding to any of his messages. And uh, so we're going to call her. And just get her take on the date and see what is up. Hello. Hi, is uh, Colleen available? Uh, yeah, yeah. Who's calling? Uh, it's Cosmo with uh, Y107. We've got a, a dating segment on our uh, morning show, and I'm just curious if you're cool with, with coming on the show. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Quick question for you. Uh, let's see how many of these you can get right. Do you remember going to dinner with a guy named Ken? Yes, I do. Okay. Why aren't you calling him back? Because he's curious and he digs you a lot. Uh, okay. I, I mean, the, I, honestly, the date was great. He was great. It, you know, I... I um... Okay, we're, we're on the air. Yes. Okay. I just feel like I'm going to get like ridiculed for this. Um, no, so, seriously, no shame, no shame coming from me. I, I, you know, but just go ahead. Yeah. 
all right. I honestly, I the date was great, and I left the date feeling really good about it. And you know, I was like, oh, definitely going on a date with this guy. And um, I turn on the radio, and it's like a song about breakup. And then I was like, ugh, I was like, I don't want to hear that after this date. So and I switch it to another channel and it's a song about cheating and then the next song is also a song about cheating and i was like okay i i really pay attention to science in the universe honestly like like that's like not in like a hippy dippy way but like you know it's like i pay attention to that kind of stuff and then it just got worse like i i was i went to the grocery store and all these couples were fighting it just seemed like no one was happy and then i finally get home and unfaithful is playing with Diane Lane <laughs> on the TV. The first thing I put on, I was like, you know what? All right. Nope, I'm out. So meaning that because those were all signs to you that, that he was going to do those things to you? Well, that- I, I, uh, not necessarily, but like it just felt like the universe was trying to like give me some hints. You know, it's like, all right, uh, like like this is what, it's going to be bad. Just get out of this one now. Okay. Can I... Can I- <laughs> Can I give you a different sign real quick and see maybe if if you might just hear him out, okay? Colleen, Ken is actually here. Hear him out? Yeah. Oh, my God. Hi. Wow. Hi, Ken. Hi. How are you? Uh, so I, I guess, uh, wow, you had some bad signs about us, huh? I uh, I don't necessarily mean it was about us, but, but I mean, but ultimately, yes. Like, I, I just... You know, it's like I just pay attention to that stuff. It just means I just feel like it's not just all coincidence, you know. Well, I, yeah, I hear you. I, but you know, I just I need to let you know that I, for one, am not a cheater. I've never cheated on anyone, and I never will. Um, I'm just not that type of guy, you know. I, I mean, sure, yeah. That I mean, honestly, that's reassuring. But so, you know, so I was thinking. I mean, I'd really like to give it another shot. You know, I mean. Maybe you'll see some uh, some good signs on the way home on our next date. And oh, and I I forgot to mention I I'm a believer in signs too, but I just don't think uh, what you saw was that. I just think it was just coincidences. And uh, if it's any consolation, I, I didn't see any bad signs on the way home after our date. If that helps. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, that helps. That helps a little bit. Just you know, and honestly, that you don't think I'm crazy for saying like you know I pay attention to signs. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. Well, that's that's actually really great. <laughs> so uh, I, you, you know, I was wondering, can you you know, you want to maybe uh, give it another try, and uh, maybe you you can even pick the place you know you're comfortable with. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yes, I would I would love to try this again. See if <laughs> see if we can get some good signs. <laughs> oh, awesome! Okay. Cool. Well, you guys made my job really easy. I, I didn't really. I mean, I figured once we got a little conversation going here, and and Kelly and I get where you're coming from. Like I do that all the time with different things. Like, okay, this is this. I'm I'm meant to do this, or I'm meant to call this person back. You see this? Here's that sign. But yeah. I, I think you had a really good time on your date with Ken, and it sounds like you guys could click a little bit. So g- at least give him another chance, and we'll help pay for it. See, there's a good sign right there. You guys aren't even gonna have to pay for the date. All right, that's actually that's really good. Matter, right. <laughs> We're on to it. Wait, you're you you're gonna pay for the date? That that's the best sign I could have heard of. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew when you reached out, Ken, that that was kind of the deal. If she agreed, then I'd I'd, I'd I'd cover it. So uh, it's definitely a good sign. Thank you. Hang on the line, guys. We'll get things set up. Get you guys working on a date here soon. Okay. Hey, okay thanks, thanks so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up with Cosmo in the Y107 Morning Show.